Soviet subs retreat. Return to Holy Lock for replayers and re, re, replayers, repairs, and to replenish stores. I can talk, I must. And all I'm having is Coca Cola, so I mean, it can't be that. Drinking lap is that. But soft drinks only. Alright, continue on course, get back to Holy Lock. Without getting into the trouble, hopefully. Yeah, I would like to fit in one more mission here. If I don't, you'll know that the video is just too darn long. So I'll do my best today. Get that out before uh, we deal with anything else. Hopefully I can have that up on YouTube. You'll find out because once it's there, it's kind of there. <laughs> okay, we only did 16,000 tons. The three, yeah, sunk three warships. Well, we sunk one tender. Okay, we have another tankers and tenders mission. Small force sail from Archangelus to shortly for a rendezvous somewhere in the Barents Sea. Oh, joy! These are always short missions. Missions. They're really, really long. Yeah, this thing doesn't carry a lot of weapons, so. Uh, that but that's the problem. Thirteen Moss Zero. Let's unload one of those. We'll have twelve torpedo oops. We'll put in two moss. And one loaded. One in ready. And one Taz missile. Okay. Damage control. We're looking good. That's a nice looking sub by the way. Okay, Baron C. Cast off anchors away. I don't like these missions in the Baron C. One reason that's too shallow for my liking. Second reason is it takes so long to get there. I'll even put in a third reason we don't have a lot of weapons in our sub. You know, if we were running the Virginia, it would be a different story. There's the gatekeeper. Let's see if we can avoid him. Oh, he's trying. Oh, he almost had us. I think he does have us. We'll see. Set that to 10,000 yards. Sonar contact. Bearing 357. Could be. Our depth is 600 feet. Our heading is 315. He's off to our right. Our speed is 18 knots. Let's go to battle stations. Slow down. Oops, before I do that, check that. Slow down. Now he's supposed to be up north someplace, so uh, let's see. Horse is uh, 315. That isn't bad, really. It's supposed to be off to our right. At 600 feet. Let's turn this up just a little bit. Let's see. Alm, set your course for 288. Check the conditions. We have a moderate duct layer. I think these may be surface ships, so. Let's uh, add up periscope depth, or add up to that layer anyway. We don't have contact, so see our floor is at seven, seven nine feet. This new UI, using the quote and semicolon, while well, on the screen, you can go up or down. Shrink that window, expand that window, just in case the if the depth is below a thousand feet. And use one of these arrows; it'll show you a depth down to two thousand feet. So that's kind of cool, at least down to two thousand feet. We're not getting any 
contacts yet. I think they're on the surface. And I don't think I've, I've, I think I've mentioned it, but this is the new UI that's in the uh, forum. UI location, I should say, that's in the forum. All of these windows are active at once and down in, down and together at the bottom, so they're kind of out of the way. And that's for people that have smaller screens like me. I don't have a 1920 by 1080. I have a 16... 50 by now 1600 by I think it's 1050 but in any case it isn't wide enough where all of these can all these U, UI uh, panels can be at the bottom obviously you see one wouldn't fit over here okay we're coming up to Periscope oh that's what I was afraid of stop We have Sarah one. I'm afraid he's not too far away. Let's check that. Three thousand yards. Check fire. I think we should fire before we ID the guy, because well, let's do it the way it's we're supposed to do it. Get that sonar man to work. It's a kilo. It's a submarine. Okay, we're going to turn off the radar, or the sonar, I'm sorry. And let's do a snapshot. Fire control. Fire tube 1, bearing 002. Range to enable 1,500 yards. Make that 2,500 yards. Weapon ready, ship ready, fire. And uh, Helm, come right to zero zero seven. Try to not break that wire. Since we only have one contact here, I think what we'll do is uh, activate this torpedo passively. Weapon is acquired. All right. Let's make him panic. Turn on the sonar and the torpedo. Oh, yeah. That gave him a wake-up call. Sierra 1 is down. Reload torpedo to about 1. Let's check our uh, plot while we're waiting for that to load. See if we can pick up anybody else. Okay, let's see if we can end combat. Vessels nearby. Okay. Let's come to uh, periscope depth. We're at silent running. We'll raise the periscope and ECM mast. ESM mast. Oh, I misspoke again. I apologize for that. ESM mast. I thought I said something wrong. And once we get to four or five feet, four or nine feet, four eight, all right, we can raise. Okay, night time, unfortunately. Let's do a quick sweep. Okay, 
Not picking up any ships on the ESM. Which is odd. Oh, I bet you we have another sub. Okay, absolutely nothing. Down scope. Okay, dive. Bring your depth to 250. And what we'll do is let's plot a course across the wreck of that tangle. Okay, let's nothing yet. Let's come down to 300. Watch the plot. And we want to, we want to come across that tango. That's that wreck of the tango because we want to see if our array, or sonar, uh, can pick up anything that might be blocked by the noise of the tango going through its uh, noisy uh, sinking. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's speed up time just a little bit. That little dot over there uh, centers the tactical map. You probably know that, but just in case there's new players out there. A little convenience. And we'll check once more after we get past the Tango. And we'll see if any other vessels are in the area. If it's another submarine, there is a chance that he'll be running like crazy and we won't see him anyway. Okay. <sighs> Let's check. Vessels nearby. I just don't see anybody. Don't see another contact. Well, what we could do... Moderate duct, moderate layer. Let's send out an active sonar ping. Try that. Aha, that'll do it. Turn off that... No, new sonar contact bearing 110. Let's go to the plot. Elm come right. We have Sierra 2. I have a hunch it's another sub. Oh, you're a terrible idea again. I don't think it's a key though, although it could be. We have three lines doing really, really well. The ones over here in the higher frequency just aren't registering. So let's just wander around here a little bit. Could be a tango. Could be a fox track. Okay, let's ID him as a fox track for now. Okay, fire control. Fire control. Fire tube two, bearing one two zero. 
range to enable 7,000 yards. Passively activate that. We know that Foxtrot is out there. Let's see if we can pick him up. Okay, let's turn on our homing sonar. Fire control watch tube two. Yeah, there he is. He really wasn't that far away. Let's see if we can see what he is now. Could it be a fox star? I don't know. Hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna blow him up before I can ID him. I think that's what he is right there. It's a Romeo. Reload Torpedo Tube 2. I think we can end the mission here for today. And we'll pick it up again. Uh, we'll try to do one tomorrow. Depending on the weather. Let's let that tube load. Yeah, see it came in as a Romeo. That was correct. Okay, let's see if we can end this mission now. Not your mission target. Well, we'll pick this up uh, tomorrow. We'll end. Oh, jeez. Got caught by the gatekeeper. Well, that should be exciting for tomorrow. I'll do this mission, but I'll put it in tomorrow's video. Battle stations. Oh, boy. Silent running. Signature. Now, if this is quick, I'll include this in today's video. That's what it is. It's Kara. Kara. All right. We're heading right at him, so let's shoot while we can. I'm going to do a snapshot along that line of uh, sonar, sonar line. Fire control, fire tube 3, bearing 260, range to enable 11,000 yards. Yeah, let's bring it down 260, 250, range to enable 11,000 yards. Tube ready, ship ready, fire. Be ready to fire. Now we're at 50 feet. That's not a good place to be. So let's get down here to 500. And if that's a Kara, he's got RBUs. He's got everything. He's got missiles, torpedoes, RBUs. Let's get a dis distance on him. 21,000 yards, supposedly. Activate that torpedo passively. This torpedo. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see. Seven seven nine. 
we're going to 500, so about the best we can do right now. Fire control, watch tube three. And it is active. We will pick him up, but let's just, oh, there it goes. Did it all by itself. I was going to say, let's move it. And it's coming to the surface. Now, if we click on the Kara, press F2, we're on the Kara. Hilo is still on deck. Looking for our torpedo. I know he's around here someplace. Okay, let's get on the torpedo. <laughs> and he's down. Now let's get on the carrier with uh, F2 again. We are. Okay, it's screws have stopped turning. Most of the hull is below water. I'd say he's done. Going down with a halo. Oh, he's rolling over. Interesting. There's our sub. We'll get right on the car. Let's see what happens to him. He's going to roll right over. Let's see if he sinks. I know there's a was a bug where the ship wouldn't sink. It looks like he's he's gonna go down. Let's speed up time here just a little bit. There's some internal explosions. Yep, yeah, he's cooked. Okay, let's see if we can, yeah, we can leave combat. Let's leave combat. Let's go home. Oh, we still have a mission out here. Okay, we're going to end this here. Save. Quit. We'll come out with another one.